So this will be tutorial two on building applications using our Spring Boot. So today we are going to be setting up Spring Boot on our local machine so that we'll be able to build our application using Spring Boot. And we'll also be able to set up the IDE and also set up the the a project to be able to 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 add the necessary things to build an application. One thing I would like to let you know is that this application we are going to install or the IDE is called Spring Tool Suit or Spring STS. That is Spring Tool Suit. Uh, is an application that is based on Eclipse. So if you know how to use Eclipse before now, then it's going to really be easy. So let me just uh, stop this presentation. Then I'm going to we'll go to the website and then download uh, download the application. So I'm going to open Chrome. Before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe. If you've not subscribed, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. In that case, you get notified when I make new lessons and also you kind of motivate me to continue making this lesson for free. If you have any questions, any challenge uh, following up or building an application or in any other area, please let me know in the comment box below. So feel free to just uh, write your comment and also yeah, if you've not subscribed, just click on the right subscribe button below to subscribe. So to download the application to be able to build Spring Boot uh, application, uh, we are going to download STS and you, you are going to get it from spring.io slash uh, tools slash STS uh, slash STS slash all so basically it will go it will take you to this page and this page it, you can now download based on your operating system for me i'm using windows uh you can see it's based on eclipse so to download just click here and then choose uh your operating system so normally it's in zip it's a zip file so just click on it and then it starts downloading as you can see. All right, um, I'm going to cancel it because I already downloaded it. But for you, try to allow it to completely do completely download. Another thing you want to check is to check if there is Java in your system because you actually need Java SDK. So to check if you have Java, just go to the command prompt and just say uh, Java version. All right, so here it tells us Java version 1.8.0 uh, underscore 181. So this is uh, Java version 1.8. That is what I have in my system. And also make sure you have this uh, Java version 1.8. So if you've downloaded it, it's going to be a zip file or yeah, a zip file that contains all the tools you need. So you actually might not need to install anything. So uh, locate where you downloaded it. So for me, if I go to my drive D, I'll show you where the folder is. So you can see this folder here. So if you unzip it, you have a folder containing all the items. So just go ahead to open it. And then you can go to this SCS uh, 3.9.7 release. And if you open it, you can see sts.esa so you don't have to do uh, an installation so what i normally do is to add a shortcut to uh, the desktop so that i can always open from my desktop so just click from here send to uh, the desktop and create a, create a shortcut so you can see that we have it as a shortcut on the desktop so i'm going to open it so that we actually uh, see how it works the first time you open it is going to ask you for a workspace. Maybe you can just leave as a as default workspace and allow it to open. So uh, for the first time, it takes a couple of seconds, but it will eventually open. So you can see that it exactly looks like Eclipse. So it's nothing new, but it will provide us with many more tools than what we have in Eclipse. So now, if you've come to this point, you've set up Spring Boot. You don't need to do any further thing. 
we are ready to start developing application using Spring Boot. So here I'm going to end the setting up Spring Boot and the next tutorial we are going to start building application using Spring Boot. I'd like to thank you for viewing, also remind you to subscribe to my channel.